and welcome back to Sign Language Worship. My name is Mandy and I am glad that you are here. Sign Language Worship is a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you how to use sign language in order to worship our Lord and Savior. So today is day three of learning King of Kings by Hillsong Worship. It's a very popular Easter song that's been requested many times. So I finally decided to make a tutorial. This is one of the toughest songs that we have signed on the channel. So if you find it too tough, don't feel bad, okay? It's okay, go, you know, put it on the back burner and go and learn some simpler songs first and come back to this one later. Hey, okay, today we are learning verse three. Some people say it's verse three and verse four, but it is a rather large chunk right in the middle of the song. And we're gonna learn that today. After the reminders that I am left-handed, that means if you're right-handed, you're gonna mirror my signs. If you need to print out the lyrics, you can find a link to that, as well as a link to purchase the songs uh, in the description below this video. And last but not least, please consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, so getting started. And the morning that you rose, so morning is like this, okay? So you have your non-dominant hand here, the horizon, and your the sun's coming up, okay? The morning, that you, and then rose, you're down here, and then you stand back up, okay? And you rose, all, okay? So, you know what, probably I won't have time to sign all because there's a lot of signs in here. So we're just gonna do heaven, okay? Heaven, rolling your hands over one another. Heaven, held its breath. So for that, we're actually gonna breathe. So you show the lungs going in and out and then you hold it. And you wanna show in your face too that you stopped breathing. Like that, okay? Okay, held its breath till the stone was moved for good. The stone, okay? Stone and then moved for good. Stone out of the way. The stone was moved for good and the lamb. So for lamb, you're shearing. So imagine you have like scissors here, up and down. Okay, shearing. The lamb had conquered. So your dominant hand is going over your non-dominant hand in a fist, okay? Conquered death. So for death, you have one hand up, one hand down, and you flip them, okay? Let's try that from the top. And the morning that you, God in heaven, rose, all of heaven held its breath, till that stone was moved away for the lamb that conquered death. Okay, and the dead rose from their tombs. So the dead rose from their tombs. So for tombs, you show like a mound of dirt, okay? So the dead rose from their tombs and the angels stood in awe. So you can do and, but I'll probably leave it out. Angels, you show the wings, okay? Angels, angels stood in awe, okay? High 10, high 10, okay? Awe. The angels stood in awe for the souls of all who'd come to the Father are restored. Souls, we learned that earlier this week. Okay, you kind of have a cup here and it's like, you know when you blow out your candle and you still, still can kind of see that smoke come up? Imagine doing that, okay? And the souls of all who'd come, the souls of all who'd come to the Father, so we learned that before too, whenever it's a male sign, it starts with our forehead. Father, are restored. So restored, you have your non-dominant hand here and you kind of, it's almost like you're sweeping up, you're cleaning, or you're like resurfacing something. Okay, restored. Let's try that from the top, okay? And the morning that you rose, all of heaven held its breath, for the stone was moved away for the lamb that conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe, for the souls of all who come to the Father are restored. And now the second part, and the church of Christ was born. So for church, you make a C here, okay? Just C on top of your non-dominant hand. And the church, and then Christ, keep that C, and you're doing the sash that Christ would, would be across him, okay? 
And the Church of Christ was born. So for born, you have your two hands here. And then sometimes people just have a single hand this way. Other times it's a fist signifying the baby's head. Either is acceptable. Okay. Church of Christ was born. And the spirit. Okay. Spirit. We learned that already, right? It's the same as soul. And the spirit lit the flame. Okay. Fire. Now this gospel truth of old. So you don't have to sign now, but if you want to, it's two Y's facing towards your body and bring them down. Now, this gospel. So gospel is like holy, only with a G. Okay? Gospel. This gospel truth. Okay? So you have two fingers and shoot them across your non-dominant hand. Truth of old shall not kneel. So here you're going, nope. So not kneeling, not fainting. Okay? Not kneeling, not fainting. Let's try that just from and the Church of Christ, okay? And the Church of Christ was born, and the Spirit lit the flame. Now this gospel, truth of old, shall not kneel and shall not faint. Okay, and the last little part, in his blood and in his name, so, or sorry, it's like by his blood. So we're doing his blood. Okay, so you kind of have those wiggly fingers again. Blood, blood, it's blood. So your non down hand is kind of an angle across your body, blood. Okay, this blood and in his name. So that's two H's kind of making an X here in his name. Uh, in his freedom, I am free. His and then freedom, X. Crossing your arms, bring him out, okay, in his freedom, and then I am. So for I am, you kind of have your hand bent like this, I am, and you kind of bring it down in the middle of your body. I might just point to myself, because I often just do that. This is technically what you're supposed to do, okay? I am free, okay? And then for the love of Jesus Christ, love of Jesus, nail pierced hands, Christ, see, who has resurrected me. So here you're resurrected, okay? Resurrected me. So let's try that from the top of Church of Christ and then we'll do the whole thing together, okay? And the Church of Christ was born and the Spirit lit the flame. Now this gospel, truth of old, shall not kneel and shall not faint by his blood and in his name, in his freedom, I am free for the love of Jesus Christ who has resurrected me. Okay, now let's try the whole thing, not the whole thing, not the whole song, but just what we learned today from the top. So going back to in the morning, okay? So in the morning that you rose all of heaven held its breath, the stone that rolled away, or it was, sorry, the stone was moved for good, and the lamb had conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe, okay, for the souls, sorry, souls of all who'd come to the Father are oh, restored, okay? restored. And the church of Christ was born. Now the spirit lit the flame. Now this gospel truth of old shall not kneel and shall not faint. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom, I am free for the love of Jesus Christ who has resurrected me. What do you think? One more time? I could use one more time too. Okay. So, and the morning that you rose, all of heaven held its breath. The stone was moved for good and the lamb had conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs and the angels stood in awe for the souls of all who'd come to the Father are restored. 
and the church of Christ was born, and the Spirit lit the flame. Now this gospel, truth of old, shall not kneel and shall not faint. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom, I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ, who has resurrected me. So practice as many times as you need to. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next video when we walk it through top to bottom. Okay. Bye. You guys know the drill. Subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any of this future songs. You can also find us on Facebook uh, where we chat a little more about day-to-day -day life. Hope wherever you are, you are healthy and you are well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.